civil offering. Uh, amen. This is not our main offering. This is our civil offering. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. This is where we take our offering to help the community and those who are abroad. Amen. The help of the missionary board and outreach team. We thank God for Amen. For your service as well. Amen. Hallelujah. Working behind the scenes to those who are working behind the scenes.
Come on, give God some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all get to that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. To the glory of God. Hallelujah. Of the hearts, amen. We thank God for the man of God that's on the pulpit on today. Thank God for all that's come into the house of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to have our main offering, our main offering at this time. Those who need envelopes, amen. They're there. Man, thank you, Jesus. The ushers, uh, walking around, just raise your hand if you don't have an envelope. We take up an offering, amen, for the speaker as well. There's two more offerings, one for the speaker, one for the church, amen. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah.
praise team for the next voice you will hear is the very own Elder Kevin Davis. Amen. 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 Hallelujah.
And that he might reconcile both unto God and one body by the cross, having slain the enemy thereby. Let's read 18 all together. For through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. It was the blood that brought us together. Amen. It was the blood that brought us together. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you right now. Give us the word. Bless our hearts. Illuminate our minds. But most of all, Jesus, Renew the right spirit in us. Heal somebody. Save somebody. Oh, hallelujah. Do it, Jesus. Give us ears to hear, hearts to receive your word, minds to understand. And Lord God, we pray that somebody cry out say, What must I do to be saved? And we ask you, Jesus, say your word. With demonstration power of the Holy Ghost. That miracle signs and wonder 
resonate in this house today. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, we bind up anything that would hinder the preacher or the hearer. In the name of Jesus, let your blood prevail right now. And we'll give you the praise and the honor and the glory. Let all God's people say amen. 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 Amen again. Thank you, Jesus Christ. My thought will be coming from thank you, Jesus. But now, in Christ, verse 13, Jesus, who he who sometimes will fall off. Are made nigh by the blood of Christ. For Christ is led to the Ephesians. Amen. The church of Ephesus. Begin to encourage them. Amen. And to remind them why they're together. Reminding them that what once they were far off from the peaceful shore of Israel. Let them know that, amen, that it was God who chose us. Amen. It was God that chose them. It was nothing of our own. It was nothing of our deeds. It was nothing that we did to be chosen by God. Because we all know that we were shaken in the neck and in sin, our mother conceived us. We were lost like a ship without a sail, doing our own thing. But God had a plan from day one because He knew exactly what you and I will be doing in this season. He understands that there's ups and downs in your life. He understands that we make mistakes. Amen. Walk from different lives of various in this world. Understand that, amen, that I may not see things the way you see it. You know? I may not have grown up the way you have grown. Some grew up in, amen, a family that had, amen, a mother and father. Some of us grew up who had just the mother around. Some grew up didn't have the mother but the father around. I knew I grew up with my father. I knew that my mother left. But my father stood by me. And as I went to school, I didn't really understand the deficiency that I had in my life. Amen. And I seen other mothers going to school with their children. I seen a man, but I was wondering, where was my mom? But I, I, I didn't allow that to deter my life. I didn't allow that to, to break my, amen, my life, saying that I had no hope. But I learned, amen, that my father knew how to be the mother and the father at the same time. You know, I mean, that agree with me, because some of most of us grew up without the father. But there's some fathers, amen, that stand there and, and took the responsibility I know I'm unusual because most men, men leave. No matter man or white, black, or any other color. Some men leave. But there are good people that will stand around, good fathers that will stand in the gap. Amen. amen. Because we don't know what amen people are going through. Amen. But God always supplies our needs according to his riches and glory. He always has somebody standing in the gap. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody give God some praise. Amen. Hallelujah. I feel my help already. Hallelujah. Thank you, but I, 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 I believe that we all can identify, amen, with some situation of having one parent or one was not there, or, amen, they worked, amen, two jobs, and, amen, to supply the needs, and, and someone had to stay around. Some were raised up by their mother, or they raised up by their sisters. Oh, hallelujah. But that God will make sure he has somebody there for you. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. And I can believe, amen, that hallelujah, that somebody, amen, that was near you, amen, knew about God. Amen. Yeah, oh, hallelujah. 
you and you go, that's why, man. You said it had a name because somebody had put something in you. My God, when you was a young child, amen. He said, don't worry, God will take care of it. Hallelujah. God loves you, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In fact, whatever your deficiencies were, you were lacking, amen. Didn't have all the money, didn't have all the friends, but amen, amen. Man, even in a relationship, we're broken, but you already know if you don't love, I know God loves me. I got somebody that loves me that looks beyond my faults and see about my needs. I got somebody, amen, when I'm weak, when I'm down and out, he knows how to lift me up. I got somebody who knows how to wake your way out of your way. I need a Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Amen. And pardoning it to them, to, to them to let them know, Amen. That, Amen. That we were, we were, were off course. Out, oh, a ship without a sail, Amen. But God has chosen us from the foundation of the earth. And despite what you're going through, Amen. We've been redeemed through the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah! It's the blood that brought us together. It's the blood that brings us together today. Because without the shedding of blood, there will be no remissions of sin. Amen. And how many understand that God loves you? Amen. How many understand that God forgives you? Hallelujah. How many understand that God wash your sins away Hallelujah. with a sacrifice that He sacrificed His only begotten Son so that we have life and have a what? More abundantly. But it was the blood that cleansed us, it was the blood that washed us. And not any blood washed sins in here today. Jesus. In other words, he atoned us the great atonement and the blood sacrifice. Amen. He was a, a lamb without blemish. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You know, back in the Old Testament, they would get the lamb, amen, and looking for the lamb without a spot. Amen. Looking for a lamb without blemish. Amen. Who sacrifice, amen, the best of, of meat or, or cow or, or lamb, whatever, or turtle dove, whatever they had. They were sacrificed, amen, for the sins of the people. If you read your word once a year, amen, the, 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 the priest will go up, amen, into the holy of holy, amen, and sacrifice for the people. It was an atonement for their sins, amen, but it was just a type and shadow what God has for us. It was a type of shadow, amen, to prepare us to understand that, amen, that there's only one real sacrifice, and that's God's sacrifice. Are you listening? Yes. I understand, amen, and atonement means to be forgiven. God has forgiven us, amen. Now, let's, let me make it real for you, amen. In, in, the, in this world, people forgive us, amen, but don't forget about us. Amen. He did forgive you, but don't forget what you've done for them. Amen. Amen. And sometimes people hold grudges. Amen. And there's some people, amen, hallelujah, God, that forgive those, amen, and, and, and know they're wrong, but they forgive them for their own gain. Mm. Yes, that's right. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Right, I got your attention now. Hallelujah. You can let me use an example, amen. President, the former President Trump. Amen. And remember, amen, Donald Trump, amen, in his, amen, his reign, his, his presidency from January 2017 to January 21, he pardoned so many people. Oh, yeah. He pardoned, the, the, the words that he pardoned, 237 individuals who were convicted of felons. Uh -huh. He pardoned them. And remember, let me tell you, pardon is different from atonement. I listen. Part means, amen, that, amen, even if the man is wrong, amen, under the power of clemency, amen, Article 20, Article 2, Section 2 says, that, amen, of the Constitution, that you can request someone to be forgiven for a crime, a federal crime. Not a state crime, but a federal offense. Are you listening? Yes. And, 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 and President, and former President Donald Trump, amen, he gave clemency to 237, but he gave clemency, amen, for his own gain. He gave clemency for those who, amen, amen, that, that will, will vote for him. And he gave clemency for those who will, who will grant him, 
Amen. Pardoned him, not pardoned, but 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 Amen. Gifts, Amen. He gave give, he gave clemency for those who who promised him, Amen. All your deals. That's why he pardoned them. Are you listening? Yes. Trump always granted. He said, and he was not, Amen. One of the presidents, Amen, that had the most pardons, but he was the president that had the part that he was connected to. Are you listening? Yes. So, so in other words, amen, a part, amen, did not matter, amen. It does not bring people together. A part, amen, amen, a part that the one who convicted, who was convicted, but forget about the perpetrator. Forget about the, the, the victim. Thank you, Jesus. Are you listening? Yes. So if I'm part of somebody, it does not matter if the one that was, amen, hurt, the one that was, amen, crying was done to, that means, amen, I don't worry about your part. I'm just worried about that person's part. But when Christ pardons us, and when Christ atones us, amen, the atonement brings us together. Yes, Hallelujah. God. The atonement is something that brings us together. The relationship that was broken from Adam and Eve, and my God, I feel love. The relationship that was broken from Adam and Eve through Christ's atonement brings us back to Christ. Amen. Through Christ to God. And I'm so glad that, amen, it's the atonement that God, amen, has given us the ability to have a relationship back into the Father. That's why in Ephesians, he was telling them, amen, he, he told me something, hey, remember that you were quickened by the Spirit of Christ. We are quickened by the Holy Ghost. It's not man, amen, that can save you. It's not man that can, that, that can atone you. It's only God can atone you. Yeah. That's why I said the point, amen. Amen. Some people will never forgive you. Some people will never forget what you've done in your past. But God will cast all your sin and put it in the sea of forgiveness. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. That's why I'm so glad that when God the atonement is the atonement is is the atonement comes without blemish. Is the atonement comes without amen. Of the conviction. Is the atonement comes without hallelujah God. If the atonement comes without amen, feeling bad about yourself. Amen. Is the atonement that you understand that you got hope in Jesus Christ. Amen. And God has made a provision for you. Amen. To be able to live a life that's full of abundance. We have to change our mind, Lord. We have to, amen. We have to change our mind, Lord, of who we are in Christ. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. You may not see me the way Christ sees me, but that doesn't matter with me. As long as Christ sees me, amen, as a child, as long as Christ looks beyond my fault and sees by my need, I don't have to worry about what man thinks of me. I'm going to give God the praise and thank God for saving my soul. Oh, hallelujah, God. Oh, hallelujah. That's why, amen, Paul began to tell him about, hallelujah, the resurrection, the power of atonement. He tells him, amen, verse 12, that, 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 amen, that at the time you were without Christ, being alien from the commonwealth of Israel and stranger from the covenant of the promise, having no hope without God in the world. Amen. That means, amen, in terms of the time, amen, only the Jews had access to God. Only the Jews had, amen, the covenant of God. Amen. And he raised up a people, amen, through Abraham, amen, and it was a generation of faith, but hallelujah, God. But they failed God, amen, because they couldn't get their mind right. They couldn't, hallelujah, hold on to who they, they wanted to go after other gods, amen, but they didn't, hallelujah. But God said, I'll raise up another generation, amen, and I'll put my spirit in them, and I'll put my word in them, and they'll be, I'll be their God, huh? and they'll be my people, huh? and they'll be able to praise me and give me glory. That's why it's important. I I 
in the blood of Jesus. And I can worship with you and you can worship with me. We can put away all our political games. We can put away our Democratic Party. We can put away my love Republican Party. We can put away all those titles and parties. Hallelujah. The who become the king now. The body of the now. Hallelujah. You or no gay man, no Greek or no Gentile. Hallelujah. No man, no woman. But all we all in it together. Maybe that's one child. A child of God. Somebody came to hear me this word. Oh, no, no. 
God. We have a foundation from the apostles and the prophets. Yes, we have a foundation Jesus. that we can look in the word of God and see what he has done. He has came through 42 generations to see about us. Oh, hallelujah. And he healed himself on the cross. He did not know about Shata. He said, I have a power to place my life up and bring it down. I have the power to lift my life up and take it away. No man can take my life. Oh, share it. And if you part of Jesus, oh, no man can take your life. Because God has, my God, his hand on you. God has his blood covered over you. Well, now I see you have a whole heart. You remember, thank you, Holy Ghost, the children of Israel. God said it's time to come out. Time to come out of that slave mentality. Time to come out of that slave oppression. Time to come out. He said, well, but when I'm going to bring you out, but I'm going to do something special for you before I bring you out. Lord, she ain't never, somebody got something special being done. So, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, my master. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The Lord, they may not understand why you do what you do. Because you're moving in the spirit. You, you may not even understand what you do, what you do. But I'm going to tell you, amen. God got something special for you. Oh, yeah, my See, see because when the children of Israel was ready to leave out of Egypt, he said, no, this is the Passover. I want you to put the blood upon the top. What? I want you to put it over the door. They what? what do you mean? Yeah, just put it over. Just put it over. Just put it over. Just put it over. Rock out, I see you hot. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost right now. Huh? My God, I see it right now. Hey, come on, shot high. Put the Holy Ghost. He said, I'm going to put the, put the blood over the door. Say, hey, hot. Hey, I'm going to see you hot. Don't you know? Hey, I'm going to see you hot. Don't you know? Hallelujah. My God, don't you know? Amen. With the pandemic hit. Oh, shit. Hey, I'm going to see you Oh, yeah, no, oh, shit. Some of y'all wasn't even saved. My God, no, oh, shit. Some of y'all wasn't even the living dead. Come down my heart. But he said, I'm going to put the blood over your house. Oh, shit, yeah, my heart. Oh, shit, yeah, my heart. Oh, shit, yeah, my heart. That's why he got to put the blood over your house. Hey, yeah, my heart. Hey, you know, you may have somebody say to your house, amen. My little, but, but it wasn't them because they say it. It was because God had something for you. My God, yeah, my shit. Hey, no, oh, shit. He moved that in. He said, he put the blood over that house. Amen. And when I put the blood over that house, amen, I'm going to send the death angel. Oh, yeah, man. You saw the death angel all through 2020, all through the death angel started moving all across the line. He was dying left and right, bishop to an apostle, amen. Amen. It didn't matter what your title was, they go say that. It didn't matter what, but you had to have the blood to go to my house. You don't hear it now. It didn't matter what your title was, man. You had to have the blood over your house.
Because tomorrow will take care of itself. Hallelujah. We're in the now moment. And God is blessing us right now. We have now faith. Now. Faith. It's a substance they hope for. The now faith brings you hope for tomorrow. It is connected to the supreme God that we serve and his plan for us for the future. We are going to a place where there's no more suffering, no more pain, no more crying, no more rain, but the glory of God in the midst of his people. So what you're suffering right now, that enemy will no longer be. That's for somebody. So whatever it is you're doing, today, it will no longer be. Hallelujah. I said it will no longer be. It might believe that today, it will no longer be. That weakness that you're dealing with will no longer be. When God has made provision for the vision. Oh shit, come on. Some of us got vision today. Some of us are seen. And then God said, pay that my heart. Some of us got gifts in us. Oh God, in our community. Some of us got gifts that God imparted us. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. For the vision. And the provision will be given for the vision. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody will get blessed this week. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. I feel it, but I'm not going to prophesy now. Somebody going to get blessed this week.
Hallelujah. Don't let it be long words. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.